what we're doing is a growth scan. So there's a few areas I'm going to measure. And hopefully we can see baby. Currently baby's looking away from us. <laughs> We are head down, ready for a stick. baby's femur bone. We're going to measure that white line at the top of the screen. humorous bone measured every bone in baby's body so we can okay. get all of the all the information we can obtain. The doctor's gonna be reviewing these images and then okay. we're gonna let's go to this one to measure the fluid. Make sure baby's got enough fluid going on around there. Just an oblique angles. <laughs> <angles. laughs> 
can see are those cheeks. Because <laughs> we'd rather have our hand in our mouth. <laughs> but I could see the cute little outline of the cheek. So, I don't even know what to say. So I just got back from my specialist appointment with the high risk specialist. I saw him, so I had an ultrasound done as you guys saw. So they measured like all of Everly's bones and they just like took a whole bunch of weight measurements. The appointment did not go how I expected. So after I had the ultrasound done and they got all of the measurements they needed, I went into my specialist's office. He asked me how I'm feeling and if I've had any contractions. I haven't really had any contractions. I've had Braxton Hicks here and there, but nothing like consistent, nothing painful. He asked me if Everly's been active, if her movements have slowed down, stuff like that, which her movements have not slowed down. So he told me he strongly recommends that I be induced tomorrow. So today, as I'm filming this, it's Monday the, oh my goodness, I don't even know. I want to say today is the 12th. He said the reason why he strongly recommends it is because Everly has stopped growing. Everly is measuring at about 28 weeks pregnant and I am 37 weeks and a few days already. He said at this point he strongly recommends that I be induced and I have Everly because he said at this point since she's so tiny and she's not growing anymore that it can cause stress on her body. So he strongly recommends that I be induced. He ended up messaging my OB because I actually do have an OB appointment today as well. That's kind of the update for now. That's what's going on. Like I said, I'm still waiting to hear back from my OB. I don't know if he's gonna call me or if he's just gonna talk to me when I go in for my appointment. Cause I just wanted to quickly update you guys, let you know what's going on. I will pop back on here, let you guys know what my OB says. But for now, that is the update. I'm going to show you guys my belly really quickly. There's Everly. My belly looks so huge, which is so crazy because this little girl is so tiny in there. They're estimating that she is no more than three pounds. And I'm 37 weeks. So I'm back home. I saw my OB and I am so stressed so confused so my ob drew some blood and then he wanted to do the like the strep b test that's where they like swab you down there so before he was even going to do that test i kind of told my ob that i assumed he didn't get my specialist message because why would i need to be swabbed if i'm getting induced tomorrow i explained to my ob that my specialist had messaged him and that he wants to induce me tomorrow or that he recommends that I be induced tomorrow. And my OB was pretty confused. He was like, no, I haven't checked my phone. I haven't gotten the message yet. He said he needs to definitely call my specialist and see what he recommends and to see if they're on the same page. My OB didn't really seem like he wanted to induce me tomorrow, so I don't know what in the world is happening. Benny actually just went back to work officially literally today like today was his first official day at work he went to work like last week i think for a few days but he did like all the in-processing stuff but today was like his first official day back and i literally called him earlier because i thought i was getting induced so he told work what was happening and work ended up giving him time off which in the military that's like a big deal because they have to like enter in the system and everything so now benny is literally on the freeway driving to me right now and i have no idea what's happening my ob said he's going to call the specialist talk to him see what's going on and then he's going to call me but as of now i still have my regular checkup scheduled for next week with my ob so as you guys can imagine my head is spinning i have no idea what's going on i was just told this morning that i may possibly meet everly tomorrow which as you guys can imagine threw me for a loop and then now i i may not get to see her tomorrow so i don't know what's happening but that's the update for now i'm gonna go ahead and edit this for you guys so i can get this up so that way you guys are updated on what's going on if i do happen to be induced tomorrow or sometime this week 
then you guys will definitely know because I have a pre-recorded video that's set to go live once I am in labor. So you guys will for sure know if I'm being induced or if Everly is on the way. If you guys want to know like real time updates, I definitely recommend you go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I always post there first just because it's easier posting there versus editing like a whole video. That's the update for now. I have, I like, my emotions are just all over the place. And both of my appointments today took forever. I'm just so physically and mentally drained from today but that's the update like i said i will try to update you guys as best as i can if i am being induced then you guys will know because a video will go live once i'm in labor so i'll see you guys in our next video bye guys